Now it's time for the more challenging part uh, to test our videos. Uh, let's create a second specification. We will call it video. Uh, and again, we start with this first line for Cyprus. And then describe it as usually. This will be video chat. And we want to test if it displays my own video stream. Uh, this is easy. Again, we just visit our local host. And then uh, we just want to, to do absolutely the same what we did in the chat. We want to go to our room. And then I want to check if our video is actually here on the page. Do we have any test ID for it or not? Yeah, we have peer video test, test ID. So let's just find it by the ID. And it should have have length one. Let's check. Uh, you see it passes and if we let's say put the length two, it should break. Yes, it breaks. And if we pass here is zero. Yes, it breaks as well. So we check for one video, our own video. And now if we want to check for two videos, let's copy this display other peer, peers video stream. And we want it to have two videos, but we can't open second tab. So how do we connect another peer? We can do it using the uh, stub API for our Cypress tests. Here is it, here is the documentation. Uh, we basically can uh, replace any API or function or object with something else for our tests to test our application uh, in isolation. Uh, now we basically want a uh, another peer to join, but uh, we use a peer.js library and server for it. Uh, and we don't really want to test PeerJS library itself because it's already tested by developers who uh, wrote it. We only want to test our code. So we can just stop calls of this library uh, and return some static values to display in our application. Now I will show how to do it. Um, first, uh, to be able to stop something, we need to get an access to it. And here we will do a little hack in the room context. We will add this little check. If window Cypress, then we want to add to window object our peer library uh, the one that we import here uh, and you see typescript is not happy uh, so we need to add some types for our window uh, let's go to types and let's add a new file it will be window dts and 
I want to declare some global types. And for peer, it will be just peer. And then we export it as default. Uh, let's see. Yeah, now TypeScript is happy. So, what do we want to do? We want to stop the peer object, call method of peer. And to do this, we need to use the uh, utility that Cypress uh, give us, Cypress window. And again, it, not Cypress, CI, it returns a promise. So we get the window object here in the callback. And now the most interesting thing begins. We get access to peer and to its prototype. And we replace method call. This method Okay, we need to add another type, out window. Okay, it doesn't work. Let's just ignore for now. So, why we want to stop this call? Let's take a look here. When user joins, our user uh, tries to connect to this peer using peer ID that we get from our WebSocket. Uh, and uh, let's comment it for a moment. Uh, if we just uh, do the same thing as here, if we just join, to the um, let's copy this. this we don't need so if you just join um, as before without sending message uh, let's see what's happening something strange oh, I think it's because we did not connect yeah so we need to connect first yeah uh, exactly as in the test before and you can see it uh, joins the user joins but uh, it doesn't send stream to peer uh, because we basically do not have stream in our task we just connect to WebSocket and uh, to simulate the video stream from other user we will uh, stop our peer.js our peer.js call here so how we do it we do cypress stub what our call returns is uh, an object with events and we will try to return something like that we need to return object that has on method and this method will uh, get event as you see here it's a stream event but we don't care actually which event we get and it also gets the callback with the stream and here we pass the callback and then 
doesn't matter which event is it, we just call the callback. So let's try. I think something is broken again, but we can at least try. Yeah, it's broken. Here in room context, we expect to get the peer stream, so we need to send a stream. Uh, what will happen if we will just send an empty object? Uh, there is an exception, but let's rerun the test. Yeah, it says failed to set src object property on HTML media element. It means that we pass object, but it's not the stream and we can't really set it to our, um, to our video. So let's try to get the stream. Uh, same way as we get it here with navigator, user media, blah, blah, blah. This is it. Let's just copy it to our video test. And instead of set stream, we just pass our callback. Let's see what's going on. Oh my God, it worked. You see now uh, we have two streams uh, and our test passes because it expects to see two videos and it sees two videos because here in our um, peer stub we simulating another user and his stream so that's how we test it and again we can try to break it let's pass another value and if we get back to two it will work uh, so now using these two uh, powerful features of Cypress, you can uh, write uh, other tests, for example, to test user sharing or um, something else, whatever you want. Uh, I hope it was useful for you and you enjoyed the video. If so, hit the like button, subscribe and have a nice day. Bye.